Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Muhammad Ali and let's connect over this project for the web as well to the Firebase Firestore, okay? So yeah, let's close all the files and now come here to this web. Hope you can see it, okay? Web and inside it we have index.html. Now what you need to do, you need to simply go back go back to your Firebase Firestore, okay? And you will see this gear icon. Click on it, click on project settings and if you scroll here you will see this add app button so click on this add app button and then you will see this web icon click on this icon and here you have to provide your web app name so you can give it any name you want i will simply give it name as crud app okay and then click on register app and now you need to simply copy this whole piece of code I mean the scripts just click here on this icon and it is copied now click on go uh, continue to console and now simply go back to the Android studio and here on the index.html above the ending body tag I hope you can see it above the ending body tag you can simply paste the scripts here okay which you can see here now uh, this is our firebase app.js script we want we have we are using the firebase file store okay so we will simply copy paste this script down here and just change this firebase dash and we can simply write here fire store just like this firebase fire store okay and yeah that's it so now what we want to do is we will simply test our application but before doing that come here to the screens because we have to adjust our screens for the web browser okay so in the screen first of all let's start from the login form on the login form here we will wrap this form okay just click here and click on this yellow bulb wrap with wrap with container okay wrap this with container and then here we can define the width and height for it so the width will be uh, whatever the, the screen size of uh, the user is for example the user may have a large LED or LCD okay or a small LED LCD so whatever the size whatever the size of the screen is we will simply get the width and height of the screen and according to the screen size we will adjust our size of our app okay for the web so for that we can simply say media query dot of context dot width dot size dot width and we will take 60 percent of the screen width okay so you can simply write the static sign which means multiply dot six okay and then similarly for the height we can simply say media query dot of context dot size dot height multiply with dot three so for the login form the height will be whatever the screen height is we will take the 30 percent of the screen height okay and now let's go to the to the home page on the home screen where we have this body safe area so here we will simply wrap the item list okay just click here and click here okay wrap with container and then the same thing we will do here just like we did here on the login form so you can simply copy the width okay only width we will change for the home since we are displaying the data there okay and we will take 80 percent of the screen size and also on the login form here make sure to do one thing which is to wrap this container in a center widget okay just like this so i hope you follow the exact same steps now you can close the login form and on the home we have set the width of our screen which is 80 percent and then the from the left side it will be 160 okay and yeah. then comes the edit screen okay so just go to the edit screen and here we have this edit item form we have to simply click here and wrap this with a container just like this okay and just like we get the width we will do it same the same here okay so on the edit screen 
after the container we can say with media query of context dot site dot it into 50 percent also we have to wrap the container now inside a center widget okay so that's it please follow the exact same steps if you do not understand then uh, just restart the video and watch every step again now we can again copy the width and what we need to do is just to go to the add item form which is the last page and here we have this child column so click here before this column this yellow bulb wrap with container and then here we can paste the width and then click here before the container click here and wrap with center so yeah that's it now we are ready to test our application so you need to simply open up the terminal I have already provided these commands okay for testing the web application which is flutter run dash d chrome I hope you have already uh, download that file or you can simply copy paste this command and just paste it here and press enter so this command will basically run our web app on the browser automatically okay for testing so our app is running now here you can see it and now let's just write the unique ID login so now we are on the home page and now let's go to the first one which is title description Porsche and this and also if you uh, minimize the screen I mean like this as you can see the design is relative okay responsive design okay so this is really cool and really nice as you can see here also let's go back if you want you can add another data I mean let's check this form also for the new data so it is responsive so that is really cool and really nice let's say testing last post this is last post and yeah just for the testing by the way we have already test this feature so yeah from the web you can also add new data as you can see here testing last post this is last post this is last post this is last post so that is really nice and really incredible